Okay, I'm gonna try to make a very short video here. I'm gonna tell you about. Uh, I'm just gonna see here if I got something. something to look at I'm gonna tell you what kind of of uh, machine guns we use in the Swedish army Basically two. The first one is um, is the KSB Nitti we call it, uh, made by Fabrique Nationale in Belgium. Um, a mini me. Um, it comes in two configurations, uh, one, the first one, just called the KSB-90, um, it got a fixed stock, a basic uh, machine gun. The other one is KSB-90 Bay. Uh, it has a shorter barrel and a um, uh, collapsible stock, a para stock. It's um, it's minimis para. Uh, the caliber is five five six by forty five millimeter. It box fed um, 200 rounds, or you can use a regular AK5 magazine 30 rounder in it if you want. This uh, machine gun is uh, for the most part, not, not always, but for the most part used by some kind of special forces or um, specialized troops and our uh, and our Swedish uh, personnel in Afghanistan or uh, other conflict areas in the world uh, Congo for example yes we've been in Congo in recent years uh, not all everybody knows that it's not classified, but not, especially in Sweden, not everybody knows that. Um, the weight is seven kilos. I have forgotten about uh, how much is weigh with with a two hundred round box in it, but uh, yeah, it's a good gun. It's good. It's a light gun. It's not as robust as the one I'm going to talk about next, but it's more portable. The other gun, the more heavier gun, is this KSB 58. Uh, it is from the beginning a FN Mag 58. In the US it's uh, known as M240G medium machine gun. As I said we call it KSB 58. Um, you can have a box magazine with uh, 49 rounds in it or it belt fed 
249 shot. The weight is much heavier than uh, the min uh, smaller machine gun. The weight is um, 11 and a half and a half kilo, I think, uh, empty. The caliber is 7.62 by 51 NATO. Uh, in the beginning, when we used first got this machine gun, the KSP film Tota, it ha had a different barrel. It wasn't 7.62. It was the same caliber as uh, the Moser rifle, as we used then. But when we phased the Moser out, we um, and took the AK-5, or excuse me, the AK-4. The G G3 uh, with uh, the caliber 7.62. We put we put the 762 barrel on this machine gun as well, of course to have the same caliber as our main battle rifle at the time. But these guys are still used. They are more fire. They have more firepower than the Kosp 90 or the Kosp 90. It's much heavier, but as I said, more firepower, more stopping power. You can lay down much heavier fire with this. Uh, yeah, the, those two is um, the Swedish army army's main uh, machine guns. What haven't I said? Uh, yeah. This one is as well made by Fabrique Nationale in Belgium. Most of our fire uh, weapons that we use is made, uh, bought from Belgium or licensed to. Uh, we um, uh, we um, make ourselves on license from. Fabric National. Uh, except the Glock or uh, the Barrett or the. But uh, our battle rifles, the AK 5 and these two machine guns, is made by Fabric National. Yeah. I just wanted to make a quick video about that and tell you what uh, machine gun we use. They are both very good weapons in their own ways. Um, the the um, KSP-90 is much lighter, much portable. You can use it easier. One man, but it's not as robust or. Um, Robust as this, but this is much heavier. It, uh, uh, as in the pi picture here, it helps if you are two, want to shoot and want to guide uh, the belt in it. But the, as I said, they have different uses, and um, they're both good rifles. Uh, this one c comes in. Um, with anti-aircraft pods or uh, snow pods and some different stuff like that. So you can use this as an anti-aircraft gun as well. Uh, because it have, have, have a heavier round. More use, useful or uh, useful than the 5.56 in the, those areas. But yeah. Got any questions? Just ask. So I'm gonna gonna try to um, answer them. Okay.